Welcome back to FNI Direct. I'm your host, Al Salas, and today we're going to talk about how your old way of training FNI is leaving as much as 30% more money on the table for you. Let's dive right into it because this is a topic that's very near and dear to me. I think that in today's day and age, dealers can afford to have any sort of um, escapes regarding profitability. So when, when you find something that's, that's that dramatic regarding profitability, we need to talk about it. And, and the first thing is that F&I takes longer than a week to learn and it takes months to learn and if not years to master. What I mean by that is that folks, your F&I managers are really being done a huge disfavor. What's happened in the industry over the past 25, 30 years or so has been that there's there's been a traditional way of training. Uh, there was one guy that figured it out and um, for those of you who've probably heard of Pat Ryan or you know then any any other of people of that era, but they, they really they really figured out a way to train F and I. And the way that they started to train F and I was to take somebody, ship them off for a week off site, and so somehow some way they would come back as a business manager. Now, not saying that. Training programs are, are bad. I mean, training is definitely a great thing. And it gives people the right uh, tools and the right strategies. But there's nothing better than actually learning on the job, learning the experience, learning the different things that, that people object to and the things that you can actually apply in, in everyday practice, not just theory. So uh, believe it or not, it's something that... that be, even though it's good for better than than the alternative, better than not no training, it's actually a waste of money. And that's the second thing I wanted to talk about. So sending your people over for a week to train, it's a huge waste of money in the sense of you have somebody out of your store for a week. You're paying usually for lodging and food for that time. You're also not guaranteeing that they're actually going to retain all that information because we're car guys we're in gals we don't we don't really have a long attention stamp we want we want to get to the next sale we want to get to to that next uh, hit of dopamine in our brains when we when we get somebody to say yes so that's that's really something that it's very important to keep in mind and and what what do you do i mean instead of if you don't if you're not gonna do that then what are you gonna do well stay tuned then to the end of this video and I will tell you exactly what you can do in order to be able to train your people more effectively now number three is that scripts don't work concepts do and I and I can't stress this one enough I mean people teach closes and different um, things have been recycled over the years and years and years and even though there's a lot of good war tracks out there the reality is is that everybody's got a different personality everybody's got a different delivery and what might work for you might not work for me based on my personality and and, and how I approach the deal so when I say that scripts don't work concepts do is that every single one of those closes that were invented were invented based on a certain criteria or certain concept that's behind it and once you understand the concept then you'll start developing closes on the spot more importantly you'll see your penetrations go up you'll see that your business managers are going to be able to be more dynamic with their customer, be able to be more engaged and not so robotic. Because that's actually something that plagues our industry is that you have people that are just hit play and they, they just play the script. And in a position like F&I where you're dealing with people's credit, keep people's income, people's um, not just that, you're also going to suggest to them different uh, alternative options for coverage and you you want to be influential you need to be on the uh, uh, in on point and really be one on one with that customer across the desk so your people need to understand that even though closes are good to learn 
what they really should be learning is the concepts behind those clauses and why they work because that's going to help them develop their own style uh, regarding um, the approach to f and i um, four is that people learn differently i mean it's it's one of the things that that we kind of touched on earlier but everybody has their own learning style but what shouldn't be different is the process that they're learning you should have one process that you've committed to in your store for F&I, and I'm not talking about what menu you're going to use or what DMS you're going to use. I'm talking about what process are you going to use with the customer. Here's what I'm talking about. You know, what's your meet and greet? What's your qualification? I'm going over the, the steps to a sale or selling a car. But what I'm trying to say is that likewise there should be a step process defined for your F&I ma managers um, and, and and we can and maybe in another video I'll record our process and how, how we kind of do it but it, it's more so that you actually define a process on how you want them to talk to the customer what you want to happen at each step in the transaction and what that's gonna allow you and give you is control over the whole operation meaning you know what your people need help with you'll know through repetition where are they following off and more importantly you'll gain consistency in your store no longer are you going to have days that or months that you hit you know 1800 a copy and then the next month you back down to 1200 or you know for, for some of some some other stores out there where you know you're at four or five hundred bucks a copy and you you all of a sudden you see 1100 and then you go back right back right down so that has no help that is of no help uh, to an owner what you need is consistency in the department that's backing you up to allow you to sell more vehicles and number five really is that F&I is forever changing so when I was telling you earlier in this video, what can you do in your store in order to be able to train effectively? What you, what you really should be thinking about is developing some sort of a continuous training program where you're not just, your people are not just obtaining training once when they go to F&I school and then maybe a refresher course once every couple of years. You need to be implementing a program where they are training with somebody weekly, bi-weekly, some, something that's, that's consistent, that's giving you and giving them additional tools and resources that are, again, changing all the time. Maybe there's an additional tool online. Maybe there's uh, a different technique. Maybe there's a different strategy. Maybe there's a different just approach altogether that they can be implementing in your store to make you successful. So. To sum up, it's about continuous training, it's about having the right mindset going in, meaning defining a F and I process and sticking to it, having it be consistent in your store with every single one of your customers, and just understand that it doesn't take a week to learn F and I, it takes months, if not years, to master and do it the right way. You can't count on that rookie that, that, that was sent to, to F&I for a week or maybe the guy that's been doing it for a couple of years without any sort of additional training to be in charge of the most important piece of your sales operation. That just doesn't make sense. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate you staying for this video. Please like, share, and also subscribe or follow us depending on what platform you're watching this video we always want to bring value to our dealers as I, and as you know we have a goal of helping a thousand dealers make 30 percent or more in fni thanks again for tuning in and i'll talk to you soon